，安迪，欢迎，嗨嗨嗨，今天啊，我要 number one signature， 加鸡蛋，加鸡蛋。Not last time. We are talking about let's say ten years ago. Three fifty ball of porridge, simple. Three three fifty today. Minimum lah, as you can see over there, five dollars. So you know, wages go up, cost go up, cost of rentals, cost of operation, all go up lah. So everything, we pay more. Hi, Sasong. Hot, hot, hot. Morning to you. Hmm. How's the porridge? Good. Good. Are you well? Good. Fine. Yeah. So doing well. Yeah. Doing well, ah. Doing well. Doing well. Yes. Welcome to the Kopi Tiam conversation and my porridge session with you, Charlie. Introduce yourself. Hey, to the viewer. My name is Charlie. So I have been working in a hotel industry for the last twenty eight years before I left Singapore. And then I went overseas for 10 years, then I came back. Your son just graduated, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Just finished his study, yes. And NUS, isn't it? Yeah, and NTU. NTU, NTU, NTU. A lot of people complain that, oh, Singapore is losing the hawker culture, no young one coming in. There, your example. And I see more in hawker centre as well. Your son now actually did more. He cook one, isn't it? Yes, yes. As well, and it's just as good as the father. You you still be helping out lah at the store? Yes, I will still be helping out. Yeah. What are some of the key challenges they have to be mindful of? Start of becoming a hawker. Young Singaporean they would they would like take up a store or open their own restaurant. Oh, what is the method? The 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 challenge is because you have to bear with the long hours. So it's not a easy job. So you have to wake up early. You know, you end of the day, you have to go back, go back late. You know, you have to go home late. So you have so very, not very, nine to five job. yeah, not nine to five job. So if you are family man, when you are young family man, so you only spend very little time with your children. You know, so the only time you is a is a is a, is a uh, store closing day, right? One day or two days. You know, it's the food inflation went up. Hmm. So, food. Yeah. So uh, it depend uh, what what the food. Uh, went up lah, so mm. it can be meat, it can be a, a grain, or it can be veggie. You know, so it's a it's a key challenge. La. Hiring staff is also a challenge. Young uh, mm. youngster want to do hawker unless right. it's a uh, foreigner. You know. So in terms of the COG, mm. how much has it gone up by? Let's say this porridge, mm. uh, key then rice, meat. It can it can go up to uh, ten to fifteen percent, but uh, if you also based uh. on your rental. So if you rent it, you can sustain it. Yeah. So I think we better keep it low, and by not increasing it. So it's good for those uh, who are retiring, and those uh, who are low income people. You know, so they can affordable to eat a bowl of porridge yeah. from 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 four fifty. Uh, oh, based oh, on the or based back uh, days uh, days back or years back, it's about three dollar three fifty. You know, sounds like the very important consideration for any hawker, whether young hawker starting out, is. Doing your projection, your costing correctly in terms of how much all in from rental, from COG, to how much you think you can make, from how much you can sell. How important is ability to manage finance properly? To manage the finance of the cost, yeah. so you always have to play around with. Uh, in F and B side, you have to play around with a twenty-eight percent cost. Yeah. Example, let's say you're going to make a thousand dollar of uh, sales, so you only have to use twenty-eight percent of the cost. Means that you only have to use two hundred eighty dollars yes. to buy so that's your, your, your in cost. ingredient cost. Mm -hmm. yes. So I think these are really some yeah. of the key things yeah. as far as hawker has to be uh, mindful of. Uh, but I suppose really is uh, the the long hours. Uh. Say in the last two year, to what extent? Which one has more impact, GST or the cost of good? Or hard to tell the difference. In Chinatown, this area, we look we look mm. in the three years back or during the pandemic time. Mm. I think most of the retiree will still patronize uh, the whole Chinatown. If the cost of living never went up too high, I think yeah. retiree and, and lower income yeah. people they are still uh, affordable to go to hawker, but not a food court. Because food court is because yeah. their cost of uh, yeah, is higher than a hawker. Privately, yeah, rather, yeah, yeah. privately yeah. one with air condition. Yeah. You know, you have a nice comfort yeah, place to correct, sit. Correct. You know, so you yeah. know what you are paying for. Yes, correct. Are uh, uh, GST being absorbed? Mm. You know, from the general observation, from my supplier, uh, certain uh, supplier they will 
offset the GST, uh, but maybe they mark up a bit. Oh, you know? So okay. some they, they, they deliver without GST. The rental and uh, then the what other charges with, are there? Uh, the conservancy fees. Uh, see, that will be about about two hundred thirty. Okay. Yeah. Then your bow collection. Okay. Yeah, that will about, be another about, about another four hundred fifty. Yeah, uh, electricity. Ah, and oh, gas. plus yeah. that one, two hundred. Yeah, yeah. Like two thousand. Uh, uh, yeah, around two thousand. Ah, but so two thousand is where you. This is money to have to cross. Like, with the cost, we have to got to calculate that how uh, many bowl we have to do a day. Uh, yeah, you know? yeah, and yeah, yeah. And extra bowl for weekend because of uh, family crowd. You know, so okay. this this is the, uh, the the number you you uh, you have to count. You help by you know keeping some the basic ball as basic as 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 pocket friendly as possible this morning just now somebody was coming here so what's that about yeah this was about uh for the send new uh home home so yes. i do uh, uh, a sponsor right? yeah so, all, all people yeah, and so orange all, all, all people, all orange, orange. yeah because they are some are some are not old so it's comfortable for them to buy cooking porridge and macaroni soup so easy to chew, easy to swallow. So how many do you, uh, how many? This, uh, this year I'm doing 400 bowls. So every quarterly I give them 100 bowls. Yeah, I think this is what we see about the community here in that we do see quite a bit of this giving, whether it is food, packaging on the weekend, you know, uh, in front of the temple here, mm. or some of the stalls also uh, packing uh, as well. Mm -hmm. um, For me is to, you know, uh, give some back, you know, and uh, care some, ca give some care to the, the to yeah. the you the can, senior uh, people. Case, you yeah, can, uh, you yeah. can, uh, you know, care for them. Uh, then yeah, the, two weeks ago, they have one old granny. So I think I, I never see her before. Oh, not one of your regular. Yeah, she's not one of my regular. So he holding a walking stick and he say, uh, do you have a three dollar porridge? Okay, so he say, she told me that your porridge is all 450. I say, I say, Popo, never mind. What, what you want to eat, right? You just tell me, okay? So I cook for you, you know? So I cook, I cook him a packet of porridge. So he said he wanted to bring home, you know? So I say, I, I give it to you, okay? So, so he's so happy, but he's still willing to pay. I say, no. I say, Popo, you want to eat? Next time you come again, never mind. You know? <laughs> okay, okay. So he say, no, no. You must collect money that I come, you know? You know? So sometimes you, you bounce to meet some people who are. It's not say begging food, like, you know, but yeah. they, they really still want have pride. They have their yeah. pride. They want to eat, like, you know, but you know, somebody they have to control their budget or so, yeah. like, you know. So you know, yeah, everybody have not... a budget to control, right? You know, control, whether control, control. young or old, you know, you know, or working class or so same. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I'm wondering, you know, think this is like food that we grow up with, you know, our father, our grandfather, heritage. Whether let's say if I look to over fifty years, will this be less prominent? Or will other food that the younger generation adopt? Food is very fascinating, right? Mm. So if you look from 1980s down the road until today, it's all based on the trench, right? So many years, Japanese food is not so popular, right? So after you see, look at the trench. Now, so everybody go for buffet. They must know, make sure you have sushi, you have uh, sashimi, yeah, yeah, yeah. you must have oyster. Then they go for the buffet. You know, it's just like porridge, you know. So now, uh, the last 10 years, if I look at the market, you know, porridge is a trench now. Any uh, age, age group, uh, they will go for porridge. I think it's also a very comfort food. Thank you for taking your time away from the kitchen. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, the inviting best me to have a uh, short talk. All the yeah. best. So again, it's wonderful yeah, to see, you. you know, hawkers tradition being carried on and young hawkers uh, coming on again. That's for this segment of Copy, chaka. Cheers. Yeah.